Hey everyone, it's Chris, your Borderline Sloth, and today, in recognition of National Bird Day, we're going to be checking out a video by Leslie the Bird Nerd, so check out their channel, and I'll have the link down below for lots of other great bird videos, but today we're going to check out 10 beautiful birds found in your backyard in North America. Most of these birds, I think we've probably all seen, but I'm curious to see if there's any that I have not seen. Because I know that, you know, some birds are going to be very regional, and depending on where you've lived or traveled, you may or may not have seen them. So, let's see. Last week, I talked about some cute birds of North America, and this week, I thought it would be nice to do a video of some stunning birds we can find in our own backyard. Such great shots. These are in no particular order. To me, they are all number one. So let's see what ones made the list. Enjoy. Okay. Baltimore Oriole. I have never seen a male before in person, but I did get to see a lovely female last December. Although not the fantastic coloration of a male, the beaming yellow and orange of this female bird were just like nothing I had ever seen. Immediately when I noticed it at my suet feeder, I knew it was a bird that didn't belong here. Yeah, I think I've only seen an Oriole once before. The real showstopper, though, is an adult male with its brilliant flame orange chest, yeah, belly, it was shoulder a male patches, that I and saw. rump, which is contrasted beautifully with that jet black head and wings that are nicely set off by the white bar. Females may not be as stunning as males, but with each molt, they do acquire a more orange plumage. Stunning birds for sure. American Goldfinch. Okay, this is one I don't think I've ever seen in the wild, is uh, an American Goldfinch. One of the most eye-catching of the small finches here in North America, these little darlings are most stunning in spring and summer, particularly when it's a male, as they have the brightest yellow that is splendidly contrasted with an eye-catching black forehead cap, orange bill, and shiny black wings with white markings. Yeah, I would think this would be a hard one to miss out in, in the wild. So I'm not entirely sure what their um, habitat is. Because I've, I've lived in a lot of areas here in at least the United States. So it, I have yet to see one, though. Breeding females lack the black forehead and aren't as brightly colored. However, their yellow color can be visible. Over fall and winter, both sexes are drabber but they are still pretty noticeable at feeders, especially on snowy days. And by February, they are already beginning to change into their flashy, brilliant yellow, pleasing those who catch a glimpse and reminding us that spring is near. Blue Jay. Why? Well, of course the Blue Jay. Everyone, I say everyone, but probably not everyone, obviously, but Blue Jays is one that I... One of those first birds that I learned as a small kid, you know, you could recognize it immediately. It's spread and familiar, this jay certainly knows how to catch the eye. With these charming characters, the female and male share the same beautiful blue and black head and neck markings. One other very impressive thing about them is the way in which the flight and tail feathers are barred with black, with each square a slightly different shade of blue. Yeah, those are, those are beautiful. Creating Absolutely a beautiful. superb stained glass look. Combine all of this with their crest and it's sure to grab your attention. Especially over the winter season against a snowy backdrop. Yeah, that's one of those ones that you see like pictures, especially in the snow. They just look gorgeous. Them and the cardinals. Anna's hummingbird. It couldn't be a list about stunning birds without a hummingbird on it. That's true. The dazzling iridescent reddish pink head and throat feathers of the male shimmers in direct light. Although such a small bird, the flashy plumage catches the eye, especially when combined with their way of zipping around and hovering at a feeder. You know, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen a hummingbird in the wild that wasn't flying. Like, I've never seen one just perched anywhere. Fascinating creatures to have in your sight. Red-headed woodpecker. Red woodpecker. Here's a brilliant-looking woodpecker for you. That shimmering crimson head, snow-white belly, and sleek black upper body broken up by prominent flash it's white such, wing feathers. And such then a going crisp-looking, like, 
bird. Just how the separation with everything is. It's very, it's very bold. Back into black for the tail. This bold pattern has earned them the nickname Flying Checkerboard. Such a distinct eye-catching character. How exciting it must be for those who get to see this occasional feeder visitor. Northern Cardinal. Yay, the Cardinal. These charming characters are so stunning that they are peppered everywhere. Greeting cards, coffee mugs, ornaments, tree decorations. There is no shortage of trinkets with this bird on them. And for That's true. I mean, the Cardinal is quite iconic. Like, every, like you do, especially in the winter, like I was saying with the Blue Jay, you see a lot of them with it in the in the snow because there's such that contrast of the bright red against the white backgrounds for very good reason that incredibly eye-catching red and flaming crest combine that with the fact they are common resident backyard birds that so many are familiar with keeping us company over the winter season a time they look their most stunning yes eastern bluebird i went so long in my life never seeing a bluebird and then like i saw one and i saw them everywhere it just it i don't know what happened maybe i maybe i just never noticed them but like growing up like i don't recall ever seeing one it was i was well into my adult years before i ever saw one in the wild the sweetest thrush ever these birds have splendid colors that are unforgettable especially the vivid deep blue of males the mix of rich blue, white, and rusty red in their plumage is quite stunning. I remember the first time I saw one, I, I was like, "It!" I was like, that's not a blue jay. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness, I actually saw a bluebird. Seeing just one is nothing short of exciting, yep. but setting your sights on several together is beyond eye-catching. Having a group pleasantly enjoying a bird bath or at a feeder eating mealworms will definitely catch your gaze. One of the most stunning backyard birds... Evening Grosbeak. It seems as though the best time to see one of these striking large finches is over fall and winter. This is another one I don't think I've ever seen in the wild. Males again are the real stunners. The lar- Apparently I don't get to see any of the yellow birds because that seems to be the common thread here. <laughs> large pale ivory bill, lovely blend of golden yellow and browns contrasted by jet black wings. It doesn't stop there though. They continue to grab your attention with the large, flashy white wing patch and that imposing bright yellow eye stripe. Oh yeah, look at the stripe there right across. Evening grosbeaks are sure to have you gazing with delight, even more so after a snowfall. How striking they are in a snowy environment. And don't they look like a bigger version of the American goldfinch? Indigo bunting. Captivating overall, breeding males are so charming. I mean, my gosh, I could get lost in that sea of intense blue. Spotting no, never this seen bird this in your one. yard would surely keep your gaze. Although not as regular as northern cardinals, the indigo bunting is fairly common. Oh, actually, you know, if you just made it red, it does have a very, very similar appearance to a cardinal, too. Widespread. So having this handsome bird drop by is possible. And I think that the fact they aren't as familiar a sight as cardinals makes it that much more thrilling to see this wonderful character. And finally, the cherry on top. Scarlet Tanager. I didn't just do that because it's red, I swear. <laughs> Blinding. Another one I've never seen in the wild. Really stunning. Seeing this bird in your yard would sure stir up some excitement. Of course, this is breeding males I'm talking about. With their remarkable red color and bold black wings and tail, it's hard to miss this unmistakable little darling. To see this flash of red, though, you have to look high up in the trees, as this is where they like to hang out. Although a little harder to see, catching this gorgeous scarlet red in your field of vision is nothing short of breathtaking for sure. Some more mentions. Cedar waxwings. Those These birds, birds have the sleekest plumage. It appears as though every single feather is placed perfectly, yeah. giving them such a creamy... They are, like, these are, are, go are gorgeous birds. A soft look that makes you want to just touch these Zorro mask stunners. Stellar's Jay. This close relative of the Blue Jay has a stunning combination of deep blue wings and tail feathers and belly, with a charcoal black back, head, and neck, as if they've been dipped into ink. 
gorgeous coloration. Red-winged blackbird. This is another one that, from a very young age, I, I know I like that was one of those ones that I could spy. It was always the red-winged blackbird. Those, I remember those blue jays, cardinals, you know, morning doves. Those were like the the birds that I knew <laughs> very young. Males with. The as well as a lot of the woodpeckers. Their intense jet black overall body and flashing bright red shoulder patches certainly grab one's attention. Yellow rumped warbler. Again, another yellow one that I don't think I've ever seen in the wild. These guys will visit suet feeders over winter and in spring. The one of the eastern United States is the myrtle, and western is Audubon. Males are especially eye-catching in breeding plumage. Varied thrush. This bird is just Never so remarkable with that bold pattern. Of course, it's uh, close to yellow. Blue, gray, orange, and black. Orange. What a sight to behold. It was fun seeing all these stunners as I made this video, since a few of them I don't get in my area. There are so many remarkable looking birds. It's amazing to me how they put all those colors together and wear it so well. I'd have a hard time choosing a favorite, because they are all uniquely stunning in their own right. Okay, so that was 10 beautiful birds found in our backyards here in North America, as well as some honorable mentions. I think I have I think I saw maybe half of them out in nature. Um, a few I've seen, you know, obviously pictures, and there was a couple I'd just never seen before. I have always been partial, of course, to like the bright red cardinals because they're just so iconic, with, especially in s snow scenes. And blue jays as well but those are also birds that you like at least for me growing up i i learned what they were and saw them often and knew them from such young age but what was your favorite one which one do you think is most beautiful if it's if you have a bird that's here in north america that you see in your backyard that's more beautiful than these let me know in the comments so if you like the video hit like subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications for other videos i will have leslie the bird nerds information down below in the description and make sure you go and visit them and give them a like and subscribe as well and thank them for their work for putting together videos like this for us to be able to look at and, and you know enjoy and really look you know take the time to examine you know the birds around us again i I can honestly say I'm not the biggest fan of birds. I like to look at them. I think they're pretty, but flying creatures terrify me in 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 real life. So, so so yeah. So today we're doing this for National Bird Day, and despite how scary I find birds in nature when they're flying around my head, I enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Remember to keep on hanging on.